second and goal of the seven. 43 seconds to go. Ben travels around, throws it back corner of the end zone. Santonio with a touchdown! Intended for number 83, Michael Timpson, and that was Willie Williams darting in to make the defensive play, and that'll call for Kevin Butler in the field goal unit. Excellent job right here by Willie Williams. Watch the single against right there. Michael Timpson breaks on the ball, does not get that left hand there, six to right in front. Rarely. point right there just trying to put pressure on Eric Kramer the tight end watching the second receiver up top going anticipates overthrows it just a hair and Darren Perry standing there for the easy interception you see you know this is one of the things we're talking about you have to get pressure from the linebackers up in his face and this time they get the pressure that they need he throws the ball away Perry gets the interception they have the ball inside the 15 yard line first down into the win That's, that's interesting, Dick. You said. Draw the green. He has the first down. the ball. And Darren Perry recovers for Pittsburgh. Perry with an interception and a fumble recovery in this first quarter. Struggling team. Chicago right now, they're a struggling team. Here comes Green. He comes up the field, and then inside is, is, is a tackle made by number 96, Buckner. And he knocks the ball away. Perry with fumble and an interception. He has really had a run here in that regard. Pegram on the handoff. Got a good block. And out to the 38-yard line, close to a first down. Third down, 16, and O'Donnell down the middle line. Open for Stewart. There's the slash, and it's a first down at the Chicago 39. In sole possession of first place. Reverse. It goes to Ernie Mills. Out of bounds at the 30-yard line. So I mean, Fargo run there. Hard oh, we threw it. No, I'm sorry. We threw it to the quarterback, too, so he's got everything working. This is third and a long one. John L. Williams has the long one and more. And a first down at the 26-yard line for the veteran from the University of Florida. Second quarter. They bring a couple backers. And O'Donnell wide open to pick pen. And he's hit by number 21, Donnell Wolford. State passing has four shots from the one yard line. Hill lurches forward, touchdown. Second effort for Eric Degram, his fourth rushing touchdown of the season. Took them 14 plays, they have the lead. Yardage allowed, but in 95, 11, and that'll bend the old steel bars, the old curtain, not quite as strong as past years for Bill Cowher. They got to meet Paul McGuire in the finals, whoever wins it. <laughs> the Bears are back in front, 10-7 to 7 here at Soldier Field, eight minutes remaining in the first half. Todd Sauerbrunn with the win. Ernie Mills at the five. Has some blockers. 30, 40. And Sauerbrunn in on the tackle at midfield. It'll be at the Chicago 49 yard line. Safety slots. Third and five. O'Donnell has a man. Puts it to Andre Hastings. His first reception today. And a first down. Nine yards on the play. Morning here in the first half. Kramer again to throw. threw it right to Greg Lloyd. Lloyd's first interception this year. Well, again, the pressure by the Steeler defense makes Eric Kramer reload. He makes the mistake, something they said they had to get him to do. And Lloyd to the four-yard line where the Steelers will have four chances, two minutes left to take the lead. Pegram, touchdown. Oh, 
O'Donnell showing that mature patience. He wanted to go right. Nothing developed. Little dump off to Pegram for the touchdown. Where the pattern is, is supposed to be thrown, Eric Pegram knocks his guy to the ground, gets up, Neil sees him, throws it to him, and does a good job of getting in the end zone. It's down at the 17-yard line. 59 seconds left in the half. signal from the officials. Darren Perry made the hit. Right now we have uh, about 11 officials on the field, Dick. We've got seven Ridger and then four guys in white shirts. And a lot of digging and scratching. Yeah, there's a lot going there. down there. <laughs> it's going to take them a while to separate these players. Look at that. There is an official. I think 110 recovery. Oh, he's... <laughs> That's Ron Botchin, my old teammate from the Los Angeles Chargers. Where'd he get in there, Box? see must be uh, pretty much of a two-man duel and the Steelers win out another mistake by Chicago the team that has been protecting the ball so well four turnovers here it is Anthony Johnson trying to get extra yardage I don't know about trying to get extra yardage. He's got the ball, but there oh. a head comes in and just knocks the ball away. Fine. That's Bell, number 40, puts his head in there, knocks the ball away. Darren Perry recovers after Bell forced the fumble. I think that ought to be an official NFL statistic, forced fumbles. We always credit the man who comes off with the ball. Forced fumbles, so critical. That ought to be in the official list of NFL stats. Yep. Thank this a lot. Second receiver and a Jancy thick pen and a first down at the Chicago 48. Actually. O'Donnell well protected. Hits Charles Johnson. And it's a first down at the Bear 34. Right now the way Stark is setting up 46 yards. Johnson's uh, longest this year, 47. This is right at his limit at age 35. Good sound, good distance. You could hear the impact of that one going uh, well. You're watching the NFL on NBC. A couple years of this kind of success, and they'll take notice of him around the league. Third and a long five, incomplete. And uh, Conway knew that there were yellow jerseys around, Lake and Fuller taking aim. The Steelers. to uh, the sticks where it'll be third and ten. Sounds out of four trips inside the 20. Kramer looking for his fourth. Touchdown to the net. No way this time as Carnell Lake denies Jeff Graham. Kramer with a fake. Incomplete. Conway trying to keep his feet inbound, standing on the tiptoes and couldn't bring it in. Steelers 20. Chicago overcoming a seven-point deficit at halftime as Butler, with the win, sends it down to Ernie Mills. Mills breaks out at the 35. Across the 50 and down at the 45 of Chicago by Mills. Starts at the 45. O'Donnell to the sidelines. And open there is Thigpen. And a first down, 34 for the playoffs. Seven. It's Pegram inside the block and inside the 30 before he's wrapped up by Vincent Smith. And uh, about four and a half. Underneath, think then. He is down by contact. That should be no fumble. No, it's down by contact at the 19. Underneath the thick pen. Something you worked on in practice? Throw is absolutely perfect. Big Ben runs him into the corner and then comes right back to the ball. Nice catch, getting his feet inbound. Good round throw. First and goal at the six yard line. Pink run. Touchdown. John L. Williams. John L. Williams delivers the block on the corner and Pegram has his third touchdown today. Mark Bruno, the 
tight end makes the block. Justin Strelzik leading away. He seals it. John L. Williams comes around, gets rid of John Mangum. Eric Pegram walks into the end zone. Quite a target as a bear. Back to Salam. Kramer. Down he goes, and that will be a sack, the first today, and only the fifth sack against the Bears quarterback all season long. Receiving backs in all of football out to the 45, close to a first down. Third down and nine. O'Donnell down the middle. Caught by Johnson. Looked as if uh, he was being interfered. James Burton was there early. O'Donnell double pumps off to Andre Hastings, and he dives for what appears to be a first down. Just be patient and don't try to get it all right here. First and ten. He goes long. What a catch! Andre Hastings, Ernie Mills. Ernie Mills on the fingertips inside the 15-yard line. In your ear. He <laughs> put that ball right where you had to put it. And there's the Mills catch there. That's just absolutely fantastic. He used to get in there for the first down like this. Steelers and four wide. One of them, Cordell Stewart, the young quarterback. Down the middle. Caught oh. right at the five, short of the first down. Caught by Andre Hastings, and timeout oh, called oh. by the Steelers with 1-11 left, fourth down and one. Remember, they sit back in the zone. They grin. They're aggressive. Oh, God. What Let's a down. Ernie Mills. Touchdown right here. Here you're going to see the blitz. You're going to see the inside receivers break down to the inside and open up the hole for Ernie Mills for the touchdown right there. You see it, Neil O'Donnell throws a perfect strike on fourth down against Anthony Marshall for the touchdown. Neil O'Donnell just reads this beautiful. He's only looking at one guy. You see, if you watch his eyes, it was Bills the entire way. He saw the one-on-one -on -one coverage on Marshall, and he just said, I'm going, I'm going there. This is the game. He's been a big factor today for Pittsburgh. His kick returns, and now the touchdown reception. But just remember something now, folks. The offense is on the field. O'Donnell has gone to the sideline. I have the. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't want to tie this ball game up. Yeah, here they come. They did what they were supposed to do. They forced the Chicago Bears to take one of their last two timeouts, which only leaves them one. That's a great point, Paul. Yep. With all that time, 106 and two timeouts, the way that each team has moved the ball so quickly, that does take a card away from one step. Especially on a kickoff. The Steelers are going to be kicking into the wind, and then we've had nothing but great returns all afternoon. Now to tie it at 34, Norm Johnson. with 66 seconds left. The Bears will have a final chance to get into field goal range, and again, they'll be moving with the wind, although the way the game is developed, it seemingly is no handicap going into the wind. Green and Anthony Johnson, his running backs, but he's not in it for a run now. He's going deep down the middle. Conway intercepted. Willie Williams back to the Pittsburgh 38. Is in the hands of Conway out of it. I mean, he should make the catch. <laughs> Watch Eric Kramer. He drops back. They go to a seven step drop, something they very seldom do. They get the split. See the wind move the ball a little. Curtis Conway not able to pull it in with both hands. Right here, you see, gets one on one with Willie Williams, and Eric Kramer makes a good throw. Curtis Conway sees Myron Bell coming across, pulls off that ball just a little. It's not Kramer's fault. Yes. Cordell Stewart is in the game, and he's been sent down the middle on every one of these patterns. O'Donnell down the middle of the big pen, and he's inside the 40, 38-yard line, clock running. Well, that's a miracle. 
the play will have overtime. O'Donnell lost it up there. Incomplete. Charles Johnson had a hand on it. 1934. They're 0-11. Yeah. Never's a long time, and that's today they have a chance. It's a really a, a wonderful comeback by the Steelers, dominated in the second half by the Chicago Bears. When it came down to the last drive, what a good job. The Pittsburgh choice. There's a tail. There's a head. You're going to call in here. Call it. He called head. It's tail. Chicago wins the toss. smothered by Carnell Lake. Lake, the Pro Bowl safety, who is now playing cornerback the last two weeks. Right here you see Chris Odom coming off of this side, Carnell Lake coming up here. The Chicago Bears cannot pick them both up. Watch here. Chris Odom comes in and free. Carnell Lake beats his guy and forces Eric Kramer to throw a bad ball. Third and 11. Five receivers. Lots of time. field of play. It's ruled a catch. The problem with this is the Chicago Bears only come with three guys. Three guys gave Neil O'Donnell all day to throw. He, there's nobody open, so he breaks to the outside. Ernie Mills does a good job of breaking his route off. Extra period. Each team with two timeouts. For the blitz. To Peglin. Breaks a tackle into Bears territory to the 43-yard line. Eric Pegram delivers again. 15 on that catch. Brandon Stein gets back, and Pegram makes the run. Look at how long this thing takes to develop. It is a blitz. And I thought Chicago played it very well. Here comes Minter trying number 92 to get out, but he gets blocked. Pegram right here gets away, and then Stein, you see him making a block back downfield. Pegram keeping the ball in play, picking up an extra two yards. Johnson and Charles Johnson has another first down at the 33. Did you hear that baby I heard that one hit from up here. <laughs> he likes the situation because he knows he's going to pick it up with his people. On second seven, underneath to the tight end, Mark Bruner. And Bruner is inside the 25 yard line. Look out to his right. He's looking for somebody. All of a sudden, he sees the tight end. Mark Bruner on the corner of his eye. Good job of stopping his drop and delivering the ball quickly over the middle. the middle from 24 yards that's it Pittsburgh 37 Chicago 34 the Steelers jump to the lead in the Central. Two men from Pittsburgh, high school in Pittsburgh. One stead and Cower. And Bill Cower, his team turned around. They uh, were not happy at all in the Steel City at three and four. Norm Johnson completes a very uh, stirring comeback by Pittsburgh on the road. It appeared the Bears had the momentum, they had the lead late, and Pittsburgh a touchdown drive to tie it late, and in overtime, Dave Wonstadt has to swallow the third loss of the season, six and three. Eric Kramer, three touchdown passes, but not enough today. started today talking about these two teams in first place, trying to stay there, improve their stake, looking ahead to the playoffs, and one suspects that we might indeed be seeing them in late December, early January. Once again, the final score in overtime, Pittsburgh 37, Chicago 34 for Paul McGuire and Phil Sims. I'm Dick Hamburg. So long from Chicago. We'll be sending you to our NFL on NB Studios for all the scores and highlights from today's games. Stay